musical chairs with me, Cheer Up Charlie. And today we have the amazing, the wonderful. She's a phenomenal dancer. And every week she packs up her lunchbox and heads off to Steph's packed lunch. She's the awesome Chrissy Warner, everybody. probably everyone that's watching knows we've been moving quite a bit so if you're ready I'll get right into the questions yeah let's go let's go so I know you're a dancer but have you always loved the limelight since you were a child yeah like so when I was little um I was I was a bit of a show off you know there's the kids that are always good and quiet and do their math homework yeah and then me who <laughs> was like prancing around and like just just being an idiot really all of the time like I used to charge my mum to watch me in the living room do shows I was that crazy <laughs> but yeah I started off um as a dancer just because I loved it so I was that child I was not <laughs> so did you have a really supportive family growing up who were from the arts or were they like mine and knew nothing but were still supportive Oh yeah, definitely. And my parents knew nothing about the arts. They're both doctors, believe it or believe it or not. I don't know how they produced me. So they knew absolutely nothing about the arts. And well, I think they were a bit shocked. And then they would but they're so supportive, even now, like and yeah, they've been so good all the way through it. They've actually really, I think I've just shocked them every single minute of every day. <laughs> Yeah, well, my parents, my dad's um, an engineer who was in the army for 31 years and is an elite cyclist. And my mum's a school teacher and a power lifter. So how they got this, we don't know. <laughs> That's amazing. I love Yeah. So I already see the sacrifices my parents make for me with regards to lessons and taking me wherever I need to be and the expenses this occurs. So did you professionally train? And if so, where? Yeah, when I was little, so um, I started sort of an entertainment when I was a really little girl. I was only five. Oh, and wow. so my, like just dressed me up in a leotard and walked me to like the nearest dance school. It was just local and Yorkshire. So it was just in Doncaster. And I went to the Everton Stage School and she just took me one day because I was too much to handle. And she was just, she just had enough, enough of me leaping around the living room. So she thought we'd channel it somewhere. So at five, I was in a local, a little local dance school in Doncaster. And so that's how it all started, really. So I trained actually for 17 years. And then that's how everything else happened. And I ended up being an actor. And then I ended up going on telly and stuff like that. But it all started when I was five. Wow. <laughs> So now I know Paris Hilton's My New BFF is great viewing, but I have to be honest and say at 11, it's not top of my list. But I do know that people are quickly stereotyped on shows like this. Did that bother you? Um, no, it didn't really bother me as, as such. It sort of, it, to me, it was just such a fun time and it was such a wonderful memory. And then I, I remember coming out and then seeing all of these really awful sort of tweets and things like that and I do think it's terrible and I do think it's so awful like online bullying is so awful and trolling is so so terrible and mm. um, I think I'm just one of these people I just sort of take it on the chin and get on with it I'm really comfy in my own skin and I think I know you are too because you've been through all sorts haven't yeah. you and you're such an inspiration and I think for my part, if I can take it on the chin, then I can act um, like an inspiration almost. But sometimes it's hurtful. Of course it is. But now, you know, like yourself, you just feel like you're doing so well. So why not enjoy it? Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, so <laughs> what's your most memorable moment to date? You must have loads, but does one really stand out? Um... I feel like my entire life has just been full of really memorable moments. So anything from, like, I'm a mum, I'm a single mum, so I've got two kids of my own. They, like, those moments I couldn't, I think I shocked myself. On the Paris Hilton show, when I had to do that burlesque sort of, it was like, it was like a, a burlesque 
strict <laughs> I don't know whether I should even be saying that <laughs> but it was a nice evening so it was fine and I just remember turning around and just seeing all these producers stood there in shock because they were like what is she gonna do that was like crazy and then moving to LA when I was a little girl I, I then decided I wanted to become an actress so I went with a suitcase and got on a plane and flew to LA when I was 19 by myself awesome <laughs> So I actually met you on Steph's Pack Lunch where you're now a regular and as you know, hashtag Chip Charlie was born due to the bullying I received for my lovely dancing song, particularly because I don't fit the stereotype of what a boy should do and I'm now a recipient of a prestigious Diana Award where I know my voice is now making a difference for my generation, but this negative behaviour is not going to disappear quickly and as I've learned, it's picked up from adults. How do you think we can change this? Well, it's yeah you are absolutely right and i'm so sorry for everything that you've been through but like i said you are a true inspiration look how well you do thank you um, i think it comes from teaching it down because children i think absorb everything and they've learned everything i'm sure and i think it all starts at home and it's about education so i think it's, it's adult teaching children you know it's almost like when you sit them at the table and you're like oh eat your greens it's good for you or eat your bread plus it makes your hair go curly and people believe it <laughs> you know what I mean so the more we educate our children they'll grow to be more um mindful adults I believe yeah definitely so you're a massive advocate for talking how do you think reality shows can help the negativity that stems from it and shows from stems from it shows and ensures that people are given the support they need yeah no absolutely like I think um like it's sport is everything it's so important that someone doesn't feel alone you know when they're being told and i'm certainly someone to stand up for someone like i think that um i know that sometimes you feel like when you want to show you can't really say anything but people are allowed to say so much about you and i really think that if someone has crossed the line i mean there's little bits of bands but if someone's crossed the line and are being hurtful i'm certainly someone to stand up and put a stop to it not rudely but just I'll just say, I'll, I'll show them where they're going wrong. And not just for myself, but for anyone else. But we have loads of support. Even on any show that I've been on, the, the teams, especially Pat Lunch, no one's allowed to really troll any of us because we all stand together as one. And that's what's so beautiful about the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we all see each other. So I know that social media can be an amazing platform and such hard work. I already sit with my mum and we spend so long looking at how we can grow, but I also know it can be cruel because even I get messages saying you're fat, ugly, stupid, go kill yourself, all of the normal social media things. Um, but I know that my platform is needed to help kids like me have a voice and I will stand up for my generation, but it scares me that my generation is going to be so wry and on it, but it seems to be the way we are developing. How do I continue to make it um, grow to help my campaign? I'll say that again. Like, I'm so, I, when you said like people call you all that stuff, I was just like, oh. but it's like, I can't believe, I mean, with all the good that you're doing, I think if you just um, focus on the positive and send yeah. out positive, Definitely. like just ignore all the negativity. They're not, they're not, they're almost irrelevant to your path. Mm -hmm. which is fire so i would say um like you're you're growing anyway online you know who cares about what they're saying you're yeah. growing because you're, you're you're pushing everything out there and you're mm -hmm. sending it out there and you're inspiring and you know you're showing the world what you can do you're confident and i think you need to be confident kind and inspiring and you are that so you will automatically grow like or everybody wants to wants to be part of your world think that's absolutely wonderful so you're naturally doing that aren't you <laughs> yeah thank you so if you could give yourself some advice to chow knowing what you know now as an adult what would it be and let's be honest chrissy would you pay any attention to it when i was when i was much younger i was obviously when you're younger it is really hurtful and you absorb it so 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 much more because you've never really seen anybody say so much to you but i wouldn't pay any attention to it now i feel like if I could go back in time, I would just, I would just be like, oh, I don't care. If I knew what my future was going to be like, I, I wouldn't have been bothered. I would have just ignored it. Yeah. 
<laughs> so what do you prefer to be doing? Dancing, acting on the catwalk or presenting? I always thought mine would be singing, but no, I love to present. And I think Anton Deck needs to make way for me. <laughs> I absolutely agree. You're really good for that. <laughs> Thank you. Really, so cute. And um, I, I just love to perform and entertain in general. So to me, I don't care whether I'm, you know, dancing on a video, acting in a film, presenting on the telly. As long I'm a show off, aren't I? So <laughs> as long as I'm up there doing something, I'm a court jester. So as long as I'm entertaining someone somewhere. I'm happy, so as long as I'm performing, I'm all right. <laughs> awesome. So now for some funny questions. <laughs> so what do you most get in trouble for of your children? Um, I get most in trouble for, uh, believe it or not, my children are, are like young, um, but I get in, <laughs> for talking on social media. <laughs> like, if I'm doing my Insta story, they're always like, oh, why is she doing that? She's so sad. Stop it, mum. Like, I'm embarrassed. They're like, so they're quite like, they're the opposite, really. They're not as showy often. But um, no, they're always like rolling their eyes because they're like, oh, she's doing it again. She's on a story. They see me so old. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your most disgusting habit come on Chris even someone as perfect as you must have one. Oh my gosh I'm definitely not perfect <laughs> like if you ask any of the lunch mates I'm probably the most ruckus and disgusting one um <laughs> oh like those bad habits it's it's <laughs> But I kind of tend to, I like do sneaky trumps a lot. <laughs> like, and that's a really bad <laughs> All the time. And then I always blame someone else. Like, I'll do it before we go on, like, with the lunch mates, and I'll blame someone else. <laughs> and they're just like, it's Chrissy. And I'm like, it's not me. <laughs> bad. It's a bad. <sighs> so what would you most like to be remembered for? I would most like to be remembered for one, cheering up the nation um, and inspiring them, making them happy through entertainment and two, the moment. So everyone always, I always feel like they always have like a Chrissy Wonder moment where they, um, they have a memory where we've done something silly together. So I just want to be remembered for all these moments where I've made people happy. Awesome. <laughs> So have you ever tripped over or done something embarrassing? It's something like a red carpet event that no one knew about until today. <laughs> yeah, like all the time. <laughs> I, was at, I was at like Vanity Fair and party once and I was in a really long dress. But I think I must have had too much Prosecco. And then like, I was trying to like fuck down and I was with this really handsome date who I could barely knew. But I took him anyway, which was bad. <laughs> And then I started walking down like sort of the red carpet into, it was the after party. And I stepped on my dress and I, oh. I stepped on it, tripped over my own foot and then sort of like fell forward, but then fell into him and then he caught me. But it was really embarrassing because everyone there looked really harsh. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so now for a round of quick fire questions. Favourite place to holiday? Oh, um, Sherwood Pines Forest in the log cabin. Ooh. Who, um, who would you eavesdrop on if you were invisible? Um, Jamie Dornan. Um, I love him. He's Irish and I think he's sexy. <laughs> awesome. Chocolate or Haribo? Oh, Haribo. Haribo all the time. London or LA? Oh, LA. LA. Definitely. I love the sunshine. Text or talk? Oh, text. Text. If I know text, for sure. Heels or flats? Heels for sure. I'm a glamour girl. Awesome. Last song downloaded. Uh, the last song I downloaded was um, Ed Sheeran. Um, I can't remember what it was there. <laughs> it's fine. Favourite musical? Uh, Favourite musical is um, Sunset Boulevard. Ooh. Superpower. Superpower. I would like a magic wand that would give me anything I wanted every single time I wafted it about. Ooh. First celebrity crush. My celebrity crush. Uh, I have so many, but I just like probably someone funny. Like I like 
Oli Mers' personality. I think he's funny. Someone like that. Awesome. Childhood book. Uh, book? Oh, my favorite. I haven't, do you know what? I've only read one book in my whole entire life. I know, and it was by Russell Brand. It was my bookie one. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> but it was a good book. I thought it was good. I love books. I have a whole massive bookshelf upstairs in my bedroom, um, which I have read every single book on the shelf. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're certainly putting me to shame. I, it's, it's, I love to read, and I've got a few poetry books, but I have them all, and then I never read them. I just leave them. I've read one book from beginning to end in my entire life, and it is that one by Russell Brown. <laughs> Harry Potter House. Um, definitely Gryffindor. I fancy myself. Awesome. Well. Favourite Harry Potter character? Um, Hermione. I awesome. Think she's, awesome. Yeah, she's like I am. Yeah. <laughs> Chrissy, it was a pleasure and an honour interviewing you. Oh, it was an absolute honour speaking to you, Sally. You're absolutely amazing. And this is certainly one of my best life moments for sure. Really Thank you. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Bye. Bye. Oh, wasn't that such an amazing interview? Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications button. Ding, 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 ding. Remember, keep being kind to yourself and others and keep letting your light shine. Bye.